This is the new DJI Mini 3 and this is the DJI Mini 3 Pro. When you first look at them, they look very, very similar, but there are some major differences that you need to be aware of before you take the decision to buy one or the other. In this video, I will compare the new DJI Mini 3 with the old DJI Mini 3 Pro, so you know which one is the right for you when it's time to upgrade your current drone or you may be just looking in to buy your very first drone. And here I actually have the DJI Mini 3 with the Fly More Kit, and with the Fly More Kit you get this pouch and you get some extra propellers and you also get this intelligent charging hub with two extra flight batteries. And this pouch, that is actually the exact same pouch that you get if you buy the Fly More kit to the DJI Mini 3 Pro and that's the same with the intelligent flight battery charger and the batteries, they are all the same. And the drones themselves, they look very similar and they have the same characteristics but honestly I think that the DJI Mini 3, I, I almost think that that one looks a little bit more aggressive. Mainly because of these details up here on the old DJI Mini 3 Pro. Old, it's not that old. These ones are front-facing obstacle avoidance sensors. On the back side you have the back-facing obstacle avoidance sensors. On the DJI Mini 3 you don't have any sensors like that, so these are just air vents, but they they look freaking cool. They are both sub 250 gram drones, which means that in many countries there are less regulations. So you just look into the local regulations and laws before you buy the drones. But in general, sub 250 gram drones, those are a lot easier to fly everywhere. So let's just put them on the scale so we can see the actual weight. So the old ones, there are 240, this one is 240. 7 grams and then if we take the new DJI Mini 3 that one is 246 grams so that one is actually a little bit lighter than the pro version and when it comes to the size like the DJI Mini 3 is a little bit higher if you look at the back side here you have those little legs sticking up here if we unfold the two they are unfolding the same way then we can also see that they are pretty much the same. One difference is that on the DJI Mini 3 we have these little leg extenders on the flight propeller arms. We don't have those on the DJI Mini 3 Pro and that's just to save weight on the DJI Mini 3 Pro. They didn't need to save that much weight on this one so that's why they put those legs there. So it's getting a little bit more stable if you are landing somewhere. So here this is rock solid. That's not going anywhere. This one is well it's easy for the propellers to go into the ground if, if it's a little bit uneven. On the DJI Mini 3 you only have air vents. These are front facing obstacle avoidance sensors. If we take a look at the back side, it's the same here. We have the obstacle avoidance sensors and we don't have that on the DJI Mini 3. And that is a big difference of course. With the DJI Mini 3 you can fly into things like that, but you can't do that with the DJI Mini 3 Pro because it's gonna stop. It's actually not that bad. I've been flying with many drones that don't have the obstacle avoidance sensors and it actually teaches you to fly a little bit more careful, so that's not necessarily a really bad thing. When we take a look underneath, this is also a difference. Here we have these cameras that goes downwards. We don't have those ones here. The cameras we have had that looks like it's just IR sensors and those are to measure the elevation you have so you know how high up you are so you can land safely. On the back side it looks the same. We have a USB-C port there and we have the SD card, micro SD card port there and we have the same on the DJI Mini 3 Pro. They both have the maximum speed of 16 meters per second and that is about 35.8 miles per hour and that is the same for both. But one big difference between these two drones is the maximum flight time and this is a real game changer because on the old DJI Mini 3 Pro we had a maximum flight time of 34 minutes. I actually have a video that I can link to in the description box below where I measure the real flight time on the DJI Mini 3 Pro so you can watch that one after this one. On the DJI Mini 3 you get up to 38 minutes. So that's 4 minutes more. If you have the extended battery you get up to 47 minutes on the DJI Mini 3 Pro. On the DJI Mini 3 you get up to 51 minutes of flight time. That is 
I don't know any other drone that can be in the air for so long. Even if this is just theoretical numbers, it's still a really impressive number. And the maximum hover time that is 30 minutes on the DJI Mini 3 Pro and it's 33 minutes on the DJI Mini 3. And why DJI managed to get more time out of the DJI Mini 3 compared to the Mini 3 Pro with the same batteries, that is basically just because they have less computer power in the DJI Mini 3 because you don't have those sensors and also it weighs a little bit less and that is what makes the difference. If you look at DJI's website, they're really proud about telling how high the wind resistance is on a new DJI Mini 3 and that is 10.7 meters per second or level 5, but that is actually exactly the same on the DJI Mini 3 Pro. I'm gonna link to another video in the description box below where I actually did a high speed wind test on this one. So you can check that one out later also. When it comes to the flight distance, there is one major difference and that is that the DJI Mini 3 Pro, this one is going on O3 technology, this one is going on the older O2 and that is what you also have on a DJI Mini 2. And the main difference here, that is the range. You're getting 12 kilometers if you're flying the DJI Mini 3 Pro in, for example, the United States where you're flying under the FCC rules. The DJI Mini 3, that is going up to 10 kilometers. When it's in Europe, where you are under the CE regulations, then the DJI Mini 3 Pro can reach eight kilometers away and the DJI Mini 3 is reaching six kilometers. So there is a little difference, but considering how tiny this is and that you have to fly within the line of sight, it doesn't really matter. And when it comes to the cameras, they both have one camera, and that is the one you see here. The DJI Mini 3 Pro has a 48 megapixel camera. The DJI Mini 3, that one has a 12 megapixel. And then when it comes to the aperture, that means how big the camera, how big that can open up. That one is 1.7 on both drones. The lower number, the better. And that means that it can let more light in, so you can have a really good performance also in low light. And both have a focal length that is equivalent to 24 millimeter. When it comes to when you're taking photos, they both can photograph in JPEG and DNG, that is a RAW format. When it comes to the video resolution, both can film up to 4K, so that is fantastic as well. There is one difference though, and that is that the video resolution in 4K on the DJI Mini 3, that is supporting 24, 25, and 30 frames per second. On the DJI Mini 3 Pro, it supports 24, 25, 30, 48, 50, and 60 frames per second. And the difference there is that the higher frames per second, the more you can slow down the video. And in the DJI Mini 3 Pro, you actually have a slow motion setting, so you can film up to 120 frames per second in full HD, not 4K. You don't have that in the DJI Mini 3, so the slowest you can have there, that is 30 frames per second. So if you film the things that needs to go in slow motion, well, then it's only the DJI Mini 3 Pro that can do that. When it comes to the HDR, they both support that in 24, 25, and 30 frames per second. When it comes to the video format, they both support MP4. The difference is that the DJI Mini 3 Pro can also film in MOV, and it supports H.264 and H.265. The DJI Mini 3 supports only H.264. That is basically how much the video is compressed, so you can fit more in the smaller memory in the H.265, but it uses a lot more power of the computer when you're supposed to uncompress it and edit it. They both have through vertical film capabilities, so they can actually flip the gimbal and camera like this, so you can film vertical shots and they both can do the same. For example, for Instagram or things like that, they both have the same digital zoom. They both have this new gimbal so they can angle the camera up to 60 degrees upwards. And that is thanks to this little cutout that they did here and that we also see in the DJI Mini 3, so that is fantastic. When it comes to the quick shot modes, they both have about the same.
The DJI Mini 3 Pro also have Asteroid. One thing to keep in mind is that if you run one of these quick shots, the DJI Mini 3 Pro has obstacle avoidance sensors. The DJI Mini 3 will fly into it. So just keep in mind that you need to think with your own brain instead of the drone brain so you don't fly into things. When it comes to the color modes, the DJI Mini 3 only have the normal setting, whereas the DJI Mini 3 Pro also could film in d -cine like The difference there is that the d -cine like is a flat color profile so you can color grade it and adjust the colors a lot more in post. Another thing is that the DJI Mini 3 supports up to 100 megabit per second and the DJI Mini 3 Pro supports up to 100 150 megabit per second, so that is also a difference. When you have this new, fantastic, amazing DJI RC remote that I recommend every day of the week that has the built-in screen, that one you can purchase also to the DJI Mini 3. Good thing about that is that it's the same remote, so if you have one remote, you don't actually need to buy one if you would like to buy the DJI Mini 3. If you, for some reason, would like to do as I did, have both, you can use the same remote. I recommend that you really buy this one because with a remote where you don't have the built-in screen, you need to attach your phone. And you know when you are running out of the battery in the phone or it's getting really hot and the phone screen dims down, this one doesn't have those issues. I really recommend you to get this RC remote, no matter if you get the DJI Mini 3 or the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Another difference is that the DJI Mini 3 Pro supports up to 512 gigabyte of storage on the micro SD card. On the DJI Mini 3, it supports up to only 250 gigabyte of storage. So what about the price? Well, the DJI Mini 3 Pro goes in on 669 US dollars. The DJI Mini 3 is $469. That means that the DJI Mini 3 is 30% cheaper than the DJI Mini 3 Pro. And that is a big difference. And that is worth to consider because you get the same picture quality almost. And the drone itself is almost the same. So you really have to think about if you need those obstacle avoidance and also the tracking feature. Because you don't have any tracking, you can't just drag the square around an object and then track it with the DJI Mini 3 as you can do on the DJI Mini 3 Pro. And you can see another video, one more that I link in the description, where I really tested the active track feature of the DJI Mini 3 Pro when I was driving jet ski in well over 100 kilometers per hour. And if you buy the drone with these DJI RC remote that I really recommend you to do if you're buying one of these drones, well, then the DJI Mini 3 Pro goes in on $909 and the DJI Mini 3, well, that is only $699. That brings this one with remote to about 23% cheaper. And considering that this one is $699 with the remote, that is about the price with this DJI Mini 3 Pro without remote. And if you would like to make it fancy, so you're getting the drones with these fly more kits, so you get these extra, this charging hub and these two extra batteries and this little carrying pouch and some extra propellers. Well, then this DJI Mini 3 Pro goes in on $1,098 and the DJI Mini 3 with the fly more kit, well, that one costs you $858. Which one is for you? Well, the conclusion is that if you really need a tracking feature and you would like to have the obstacle avoidance, well, then it's the DJI Mini 3 Pro that is yours. If you are on DJI Mini 2, for example, and would like to have a better drone with better camera and up-facing gimbal capabilities, well, then the DJI Mini 3 is a really good purchase as well. And the video on that side, well, that is the video YouTube recommended to watch next, so see you in that one. Bye.